Hey, what's up fam? This is your boy Gundam. I just wanted to do a brief unboxing of the Vertigo's uh, Battle Zone on Terrain. I just got it today, so I'm pretty excited for this. Uh, this is actually, like, definitely, like, the biggest box that I've gotten from GW. It includes, it includes a lot of different terrain I'll show you in the back. So, it comes with, like, I wish it came with, like, maybe one multi-level section. So as you can see, I mean, what I mean multi-level will we have like, you know, three stories, but as you can see, most of these are like, kind of like double, you know, single story, like double story, like sections, which, you know, I guess are fine, but I wish it would have been more, uh, you know, just one that was like multiple levels. The thing that I like about these compared with some of the Saturn Imperialis is that, uh, as you can see, there are not a whole lot of windows, and that's one thing that I like about these a little bit more, just because with the other ones, there was essentially, like, windows throughout, and so it became, like, kind of like a grayish area when it came to, like, line of sight and, you know, like, being targetable, so I like that, you know, a lot of this new terrain is basically closed off. The one that I'm particularly excited for is that section right there, just because it has the kind of like, you know, cathedral se sector centum look. This one, you know, not really that great into it, that much into it. But like the new pipes, I think those are solid. I know there was like a lot of people that didn't like the new pipes. But I, I mean, I think they work. They look really good and they'll be able to like create and kind of like, you know, they, I think they made it easier for you to connect and create different types of patterns. So... And the other thing before I forget, this actually comes with like two maps. So these are like 30 inches by like 24 or like 76 centimeters by 56 centimeters. So you, with this, you actually have enough uh, terrain to do a combat patrol or incursion size match with, which, you know, is mostly what I'm playing nowadays. But let me lay it down so that way I can just open it and show it to you. So, oh, just to give you an idea how big this box is, let me just, uh, here's a assault intercessor, and as you can see, like, yeah, it's like definitely like kind of thick box, so definitely comes with a lot of stuff, but all right, that aside, let me just open it up, and... As you can see, it comes with the, um, let me move it off to the side, be easier. Uh, so as you can see, it comes with different instructions. So this is what, you know, just to give it a better idea of the layout. So this, this is basically the two boards put, put together. So this would be, you know, e enough terrain to play a combat patrol or a incursion match. And here you can see the, the way I was talking about the pipes creating your different kind of like patterns. So I think that's going to be cool. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this session. Like I think this session is definitely like the highlight for me when it comes to this uh, terrain box. And the good thing about these, as you can see, they're mostly like push fit, which I know some people don't really like it. But to be honest, like I spend so much time putting um, together some of the older terrain and like like this is gonna take me a lot less time to go through um, through you know through all these and put it together and just to give you an idea so there's I believe there's one two three four five six seven eight so yeah there's gonna be like eight different trays of plastic for you so yeah I mean it looks like it's not gonna take too long like for example the highlight piece for me so it's like one two three four five six. so it looks to be only about seven pieces together which to me is great you know makes it like really easy to be able to like put terrain you know together like even even this other section that i'm not too crazy for yeah it looks to be a, about eight pieces all together yeah with this thing i actually um I'm kind of glad they, they made the uh, t the terrain be able to do, like, quick disconnect. Because I've been thinking I actually might not glue it together. So, 
yeah just to give him more options but in the end i might just glue it just because it's like i wouldn't want it to like come apart and paint it but i guess once i put it together and if i'm pretty happy with the layout i'll probably just glue it and you know keep it uh, permanent but as you can see yeah it looks like it should be like really easy to put together so uh, let me see what else yeah like a lot of the sections i wish it was there was just like a little more differentiation between this uh, corner corner of the buildings because they look to be about the same and i know there's like some rules with the engine sheds and some power-ups and you know different ways that you can interact with the terrain so for example um you know the coral transmitter like i know there's like additional ways that you can use that in your games but like I didn't get it yet just because like I'm still new to games so I'm kind of just waiting to like you know digest it a little at a time. I think the interactive terrain will be cool but uh, you know I guess we'll see how it kind of like you know how many people will go with it and you know how popular it is. Yeah like I have you know for example like with this like corner buildings like I have a lot of the sector centers so like I have so many of these so many of these like type of terrain the small like scattered terrain that i just honestly don't even know what to do with it like i wish it was like a way f a way for me to like combine those and make like a bigger structure just because i basically have like a small box just full of these um and as you can see here's the corner terrain um uh, yeah i think it's you know it looks cool this is kind of like another ones that it will be kind of power ups I guess if I do the, if I get those power cards, then I'll definitely do a review on those so that way you can see what you're getting. But as you can see, um, yeah, I mean, it should be like, honestly, like if you really just want to keep it simple, it looks like you can, you can basically keep it all modular. So it looks like you will to like combine and create like different layouts if you want. Yeah, that, that's one thing that, because uh, I got the, I think it was the administrative building, the three-story building, and I think this, the way this puts together, like, I think it's definitely going to be much easier. So here's, like, another, light layout of it. And uh, here I'll show you some of the scale for this, so that way you get an idea. I mean, the amount of detail is actually pretty cool, so... That way you can see the, forget what this section is called. And here's like some of the new uh, pipes. So like this radiator looking thing. I mean, yeah, the, I think these are good. Like I definitely like the detail in this. You can see, um, you can see with the new pipes, there's actually like quite a bit more detail. So show you it's about the same but yeah i mean you can see like all the gauges and everything so like i mean it's kind of like give me a little bit anxiety just looking at like all these different gauges so i'm not sure how much i'm gonna go into detail just because i'm like so new to painting but, oh here it is the highlight piece so like as you can see like yeah this is this to me is like the coolest part of the whole terrain uh so yeah this is like really like the meme says like it's just very neat like i really like this one but yeah and let me show you the rest of the walls so like yeah i think i, I like having the smaller windows kind of like what i was saying about the other type of terrain so i really like this even even the floor, I think the floor looks like much improved with compared to the uh, Scepter Imperialis. Because I, I definitely see a lot more detail. Oof. Like, the bottom is certainly not as... Yeah, I can see... I can see there's a little bit of compromise because um, the Scepter Imperialis has like a good amount of detail on both sides. But, uh, you know, since you're mostly going to be looking at the top part anyways so i can see why there was a little bit of compromise when it came to the top versus the bottom and see what else so it's just same looking buildings um i'll show you this corner detail that just got my eye so as you can see you know pretty pretty neat 
I like it. Yeah, this is gonna be really cool to paint. But also, oh, here, this actually looks really cool. Let's see if I can get it close. Yeah, I think I, I really like this piece. It's definitely really, really cool. And let's see, and, and then, ah, oh, let's see the maps. So like the two maps are actually, I wish they were like the kind of like kill team. Uh, you know, they can like be full smaller than this just because like they're just much easier to transport. So this is basically, they're kind of like folding in half. So like that's kind of like the other thing I wish it would have been completely different from this map that these like uh, the two modular maps would have been like the ones that are like folded in quarters instead of halves but i mean it's just like a small thing but like everything else i mean just because like if you want to put everything in a backpack the quarter size maps you can more easily transfer for those for those than you know for these like um, half bigger looking ones i mean outside of this like i think it's you know really cool map i'm pretty happy with it and I'll put another video about this, the administrative building, this one. I'm l l really looking forward to that one. But, yeah. So, yeah, just let me know if you have any questions. And I'll try to get it assembled this week sometime. But, yeah, thanks for watching.